15 reasons why Charles and Diana's relationship was so bad. Charles and Diana's marriage was one of the most exciting royal family marriages ever. We all know it ended in disappointment. Many hoped it would be a union that would last. However, it wasn't long before cracks started forming. In this video, we share 15 reasons why King Charles' marriage to Diana was so bad. Here we go. Number 1. Infidelity The two initially met when Charles was dating Diana's big sister in 1977. Obviously, things didn't work out between Charles and Lady Sarah McQuirkdale. Subsequently, Diana and Charles began their romantic journey in 1980, when Diana was just 19 years old. They got married on the 29th of July, 1981. However, shortly after their marriage, it was clear the marriage was doomed. Both couples broke their marriage vows and commitment to each other. According to a royal officer with knowledge of the relationship, it was alleged that Princess Diana cheated on King Charles first. This was also confirmed by Alan Peters, a personal protection officer who worked with the Prince of Wales for nine years. He revealed that Princess Diana, the Princess of Wales, had a romance with her bodyguard, Barry Manneke, months before Charles' affair with Camilla began. This could be a surprise for many, since it was previously thought that Charles initiated the infidelity with his affair with Camilla. Could Diana's infidelity be what drove Charles back into Camilla's arms? We'll never know, but what we do know is that Charles' love for Camilla never really wavered since their relationship in the early 70s. The affair between Charles and Camilla wasn't made public until their phone conversation was leaked in 1993 by the press. And shortly after, Charles and Diana announced their separation and subsequent divorce in 1996. In 2005, Charles and Camilla married and have been together ever since. Number 2. Lack of Emotional Intimacy Charles was very disconnected when it came to Diana's emotional needs. There were many instances shared by Diana herself that exemplified Charles' lack of emotional support, particularly when she was battling the inner demons of depression and bulimia. Although many have said that the age difference between the two may have also contributed to the breakdown of their marriage, Princess Diana was very open about her emotional struggles in her BBC interview with Martin Bashir. She explains that her mental health struggles came to a head after the birth of Prince William. She also called out the royal family for the lack of support she received from them during her struggles. Number 3. Bullying was a serious issue Charles and Diana's marriage was plagued with lots of issues, one of which was bullying. As mentioned previously, many attributed it to the 12-year age gap between the two, and this also probably contributed to the other challenges they faced in their relationship, as Charles struggled to relate with Diana due to the drastic age difference and the different life stages the two were in. Also, the fact that Princess Diana was typically shy must have contributed to the perceived act of bullying. According to Diana, King Charles tried to bully her into isolation and make her lonely. It's not clear what the method behind his actions would be, but Diana says the bullying contributed to her mental health struggles. The bullying intensified shortly after Charles started a secret affair with Camilla Parker Bowles. Many say this was because Charles loved Camilla more than he loved Diana and had already mentally checked out of his marriage. Number 4. Jealousy King Charles and Princess Diana's marriage was easily one of the biggest weddings in the 20th century. It was at least the biggest marriage the royal family had in the 20th century. The marriage was watched live on TV by millions of people around the world. There was so much to look forward to when it came to the union as Charles and Diana represented a promising future for the royal family. Because of this, there was a lot of pressure placed upon the royal couple from the beginning of their relationship. The media was infatuated with Princess Diana. It was initially said that Charles was jealous of all the attention Diana received at events and in general. She was the talk of the town and loved by many. The media attention began shortly after Charles and Diana started dating. She was just 19 
and as soon as their relationship became public knowledge, she was hounded by the press. Diana was beautiful, shy, and composed. And at some point in time, Princess Diana was the most photographed woman on earth. This attention continued after their marriage, and Charles would get jealous at the attention she received at engagements over him. Also, Princess Diana was well aware of the relationship between Charles and Camilla, and very jealous that his attention was directed Camilla's way instead of at her. She was truly in love with him, and it would be a hard pill to swallow for anyone in a relationship of that nature. This mutual jealousy drove a huge wedge between the couple and ultimately contributed to their eventual separation. Number 5. Different Approaches to Parenting there are a few things that would be difficult to do as a couple if you've got completely differing views. One of those is parenting. Charles and Diana could not have come from more different backgrounds and opinions on parenting. These vastly different opinions and values on parenting would lead to conflict in any marriage, and Charles and Diana were no exception. Charles being raised in the royal family was almost disconnected from raising his own children and one major example of this was that formal education was not something royal children received. Until Prince William and Prince Harry, they were taught by tutors in the palace. Diana pushed for her children to have a more normal upbringing in terms of education and experience, which would make them more relatable to the people of the UK and thus make them better leaders. Princess Diana spent a lot of time raising her own children, choosing to spend evenings watching TV as a family and pigging out on McDonald's. Her decisions are what led Prince William to meet his future wife, Princess Catherine, while the two attended St. Andrew's College at the same time. William and Harry's unconventional upbringing is said to have made them more aware of the struggles and issues people of the UK face daily, making them better equipped to lead. Number 6. Age Differences We've mentioned the 12-year age difference between the couple, and the age gap between King Charles and Princess Diana was likely one of the major contributing factors to the breakdown of their marriage. This huge age gap was also said to have affected Princess Diana as well, as she struggled to cope with the pressures of life as a working royal, her role in the marriage, and her personal demons all in her early 20s. She was young and inexperienced, while Prince Charles was older and much more mature than Princess Diana. Not to mention he'd grown up in the royal family, so he was accustomed to the pressures and rules that came with it. Number 7. Their Communication Issues Princess Diana and King Charles were not good communicators. Once again, the age gap between the two could be one of the main reasons for this. Because Diana was younger, it could be that her emotional immaturity played a factor, and she didn't know how best to communicate with her husband. It could also be because King Charles could not be bothered to communicate with someone as young and inexperienced as Diana. Most people believe King Charles is more to blame since he had more experience and knew exactly what he was doing when he chose to marry a woman 12 years his junior. Number 8. Too Much Media Attention it's safe to say that in many instances, one of the major reasons a celebrity marriage breaks down is getting too much media coverage. It stands to reason that this would be why many couples try to keep their relationships out of the public eye, and rightfully so. The media scrutiny and lack of privacy was a big issue for Charles and Diana. Their relationship was the subject of countless media stories from the moment they became a couple right up until Diana died in 1997, and even after. The paparazzi were relentless when it came to following Diana in particular everywhere she went. Because of her gracious and kind personality, she was a favorite amongst photographers. Charles did not handle the pressures that the influx of media attention put on him and his marriage well, which put the couple's marital problems front and center for the world to scrutinize and dissect. Number 9. Their Extravagant Lifestyle Cost Them King Charles and Princess Diana's royal wedding was the talk of the town in 1981, and even the talk of the century with many saying it was the biggest marriage of the 20th century. It was lavish and extravagant, 
their extravagant lifestyle continued well into their marriage and essentially right up until their divorce in 1996. The expensive clothing, trips, and lavish spending kept the couple in the public eye, essentially adding more unwanted pressures on their marriage. Let's be honest, the royal family's not known for their frugality. Both Charles and Diana continued their expensive habits well after the divorce, which was another excuse for the media to paint a spotlight on them. Number 10. Health Issues Princess Diana was very open and honest about her struggles when it came to mental health. She outlined the bouts of depression she experienced after her marriage to Charles, as well as battling the eating disorder bulimia. She spoke about the lack of support she received from the royal family, and Charles in particular. The Queen's doctor believed she had a dangerous mental disorder that could be passed on to her children. This was after Diana threw herself down the main staircase at Sandringham after an argument with Charles and landed at the feet of the Queen. Diana allegedly distanced herself from the doctor, forcing Charles to go elsewhere for a second opinion. In the end, another prominent physician found that Diana was merely a very unhappy girl, battling against what she saw as an oppressive royal family. Number 11. Character and Personality Differences By this point, it's clear that King Charles and Princess Diana were in a tumultuous relationship that was doomed from the start. We've outlined the huge age gap of 12 years as being a major factor in the marriage breakdown. Something else that likely affected their relationship was their extremely different personalities and characters. According to Diana's astrologer, Debbie Frank, King Charles and Princess Diana had incompatible astrological characters, which contributed to their problems. For instance, Diana's astrological sign was Cancer and King Charles is a Scorpio, both water signs and compatible on paper. However, their moon signs are where the problems lie. She described Charles Taurus moon sign as the reason he's very stubborn, unwavering in his decisions. Princess Diana had a moon in Aquarius, known as someone who's very people-oriented and someone who adjusts to the times and whatever situation they're in. This is no surprise as Diana was loved by the world for her tireless charity work, being a devoted mother to her sons, and her ability to connect on a personal level with almost anyone. She earned the nickname the People's Princess for a reason. Sadly for Diana, King Charles was much colder and did not give her the attention or support she needed. Number 12. Lack of Shared Interest Regardless of whether Charles and Diana's marriage was one the world waited for with bated breath, their relationship was riddled with issues, one of which was their lack of shared interests. They did not share the same hobbies or pastimes. In fact, Diana even openly objected to one of Charles' favorite pastimes, hunting. Diana had a large love for ballet and was a patron of the English National Ballet from before her wedding to well after her divorce. She was also a tireless advocate for HIV AIDS and landmines, two causes Charles didn't really show interest in. His interests lied primarily in polo and hunting, which as we mentioned earlier, was not something Diana supported at all. He was an avid polo player since his youth, and that continued well into his adult years. His interests also included skiing, fishing, painting, and architecture. Very few, if any at all, of their pastimes were shared, which caused the further breakdown of their relationship. Number 13. Involvement in the Royal Family The British Royal Families existed for centuries. They have a rich history and traditions that have been passed down for generations. Each subsequent generation's task is to preserve these traditions and pass them down to the next. Those born into the royal family grow up knowing the responsibilities that come with being a member of the firm, while those who marry into the family are not often prepared for the intense scrutiny, responsibility, and pressure that comes along with it. When Diana married Charles, she became a member of the royal family, where she was expected to blend in seamlessly with the royal culture and traditions. She was given the title of Princess of Wales after her marriage, which put even more pressure on her because it came with a lot more responsibility and scrutiny, not to mention all the rules someone in the royal family had to follow. 
Diana had a hard time adjusting to her role and the royal culture as a whole. She led a much more open and flexible lifestyle than the royal family would allow at the time. She tried to abide by the firm's code while also modernizing her approach to many of her roles and responsibilities, like her charity work, for example. She was very involved in the charity she chose to support, showing a more hands-on approach than any royal before her. King Charles regularly expressed his discontentment with her methods. Princess Diana was not the only one who had difficulty when it came to marrying into the royal family. Meghan Markle also expressed how difficult it was for her and how much the increased public scrutiny and pressure affected her mental health. Number 14. Cultural Differences Another of the many issues plaguing the marriage between Charles and Diana was the major cultural differences between the pair. Earlier, we pointed out that the royal family has traditions and duties that have been passed down for many generations, and this often shapes members of the royal family, particularly in how they relate to people around them, as well as their public personas. For someone like Diana, who was a member of the royal family by marriage, the extreme differences in culture were bound to cause some issues. It was assumed that Diana would adjust to royal family life easily as she was born into nobility. However, the pressures of life as a member of the royal family were not anything she could have prepared for. The royal family, for instance, have a specific way they dress, what they eat, and how they interact with the outside world. But this was all new to Diana, while Charles grew up knowing these unspoken rules. It would be a hell of a job for anyone to adjust who they inherently are to fit into a new family, especially when you're not getting the support you need from your husband. It's no wonder their marriage ended in 1996. Number 15. Separation and ultimately divorce. As the cracks began showing in Charles and Diana's marriage, which were amplified by the media coverage they received, their love for one another grew so cold that it naturally affected communication, which led to a complete breakdown and an official separation in 1992. Four years later, in 1996, they divorced. The mistrust and infidelity on both ends show the relationship broke down long before this, however. But the straw that broke the camel's back was the release of a phone call between Charles and Camilla, which confirmed their love affair with one another. While their separation should have been a surprise, it marked the end of an era, 15 years of marriage, and the heir to the throne, Prince William, and his brother, Harry. With that, we've reached the end of the video. Why do you think Charles and Diana's marriage didn't work out? Let us know in the comments below. If you liked the video, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our royal family content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.